Greetings. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz, Jr. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to all world leaders. CC all stakeholders. BCC. All those choosing my way of life. Of the way of life I've recently put in my special terms. Of the base education of the way of life around learning the terms, around learning the individual words themselves. With it nearing uh, strike time here, with my last communique having been basically con confirmed, we seem to be having passed stage one of the strike initiation sequence. The emergency vehicles, the emergency services vehicles, immediately confirmed I succeeded in meeting the conditions to begin the strike initiation sequence here the fire trucks paraded at me had I identify them with some fire chief vehicles and proceeded to start a dry run on the routes spreading out the force such that the fire trucks ran a spread out policing pattern across the infrastructure we were monitoring immediately upon confirmation of my transmission of the humanitarian corridors they have started the sequence of preparations to clear even if plow by fire engine to clear this zone with the bridge being the proper bridge, it's a drawbridge, so they can plow into the water there. If they need, with the drawbridge opened, they'd agree to do so. And with the terms being this proper northwest corridor we are in, to be purged and cleared, that is the pattern they're preparing, needing to push all who need the humanitarian corridors out across the bridge, basically. And the, the terms of the Northwest Corridor not being the Northwest Corridor, basically being the corridor of the number and letter grid here. Here's my primary objective to do all the work of the Supreme Court of the United States as the sole justice of it. A perfect, never faulting or faulted mind of judgment, of recitation of the United States Code and applications of the perfect code that can instantiate a justice system over the need for application and translation both from input and for output of the code here's my case I've had to build around this new opinion on Roe versus Wade and the rest of what's happened this case as I'm presenting it now it's based around the products I'm going to list you need to treat as deadly weapons in your life to survive and before I get into this and through this at the top of my sequence before my long lecture the system of systems I said you'll need to have to use of my solutions that has already been instantiated is the is the pioneering system of our pioneers who pioneered to the utmost like traveling the Oregon Trail perfectly and were capable manifest destiny the great expansion from east to west of this continent settling there might be settlers systems 
basic term, not being colonizers, are the pioneers. The system is pioneering. Here we go. The case for Midal, home pregnancy tests and creation of birth control for virgins. We're not talking about abortion here. We're not even talking about having unwanted lives involved here. This is controlling reproductive systems that are birthing systems, which are female-only systems, not male systems. Conspirators, just calling out product names, Pamperin, baby shampoo, it's a loose term, but it was basically a term the product went under, like this following none of the brand name, no more tears. <sighs> then we have this issue where they wouldn't leave water water. We didn't know what they would put in. We figured we are going to make it a waste medium and put waste in it. So we needed to have aspirin added to our city water. While we also worked on having basic nourishing units like calcium added, which has ended up being a problem. It might be on this list. But they instead tried to murder us with dentistry chemicals. So we had fluoride added to the water. Fluoride on the list. It was fluoride in water instead of aspirin. Which made this issue, which we basically always had, of having city water. City water at all. Because they had to build this system of pipes. which were supposed to be aqueducts. I, I had designed it. I had built them before. We are going to make it the most advanced aqueduct system. We almost had our aqueducts set. But they didn't do it right. So they could put these pipes in. They immediately tried to use the pipes we were outlawing that are that poison our water, like lead pipes and copper pipes and such. Government cheese. This this was the creation of American cheese. It's supposed to be this government cheese, with this being the um, first units of of a, of a um, food assistance program. Like things, things were supposed to be going well enough that you could get your government cheese at the fastest rate you could get it. And you could have enough. Buy it. <laughs> Pine saw. Castor oil. This, this, the, the, the one time I experienced this, they, they said it was supposed to be a, um, a laxative or something. You add it to a drink. I'm not really sure what was going on. They claimed it was some sort of food oil. They wouldn't say what. Root beer barrels. This is a candy. I don't know if things have ever gotten right with this. Ribbon candy. This is like a hard candy, like a, like a mint, a peppermint. So things have always been wrong with it. Fruit of the loom, the brand, all of it, forever. Anything. And like, any, any, and like almost any material that's ever been worked through being one of those products. Like though any material. It's almost banned. Wool. Wool. No, nothing's ever gone right with wool. Wool light. That, that was derived of a different product. Everything's always been wrong with that. Brillo. We went through stages with Brillo. Where they kept changing the materials. And it was supposed to be something that didn't need to have a cleanser or a soap. Or, or something like that added to it. And they just went through stages of getting everything wrong. And then doing everything outlawed. With Brillo. Yellow dishwashing gloves. We had these special rubber gloves. That weren't necessarily for much during dishwashing except protecting the hands from cuts and stabs. And they completely failed at that unit. They wouldn't also be waterproof. They're supposed to be waterproof. And there was just so, so much more wrong with these things. I don't remember the brand names. Scrubbing bubbles. We used to have these commercials. I don't remember exactly what it was. I never worked with this. But that brings up a memory. I don't, I don't exactly have what is this stuff called. Um, uh, uh. Ajax. Ajax is about was, was, was something from these formulas. And then there's a more there's a more basic term, like a special Ajax powder. It's like the, the vague um, generic term. I'm forgetting. The, the, the terrorist monsters have started up their brain blasting and, and, and wailing babbles and stuff. Alka-Seltzer. 
Everything's always been wrong with Alka-Seltzer. They wanted to compete with the way you could just add a baking soda to water, and they didn't get anything right. They made everything worse. I think before this, we never had this, like, volcano issue. Like, if you put, I think it was vinegar and, and, and baking powder or baking soda together, spews, we didn't even have that issue. We started having that issue around them trying to make our uh, washing machines overflow with, with washing detergent in them. Laundry detergent. We didn't have that problem before we had this problem. And then we also never had this problem with boiling things with starch, like potatoes or pasta, and that overflowing. That didn't start until we had this problem. Chloroseptic spray. It's a special, like, throat spray. I don't know who's ever, I don't know who's ever been exposed to this. Antiseptic spray. Like the same thing. They started having flavors of it. This wasn't supposed to be the case. This, this started with water processing also around starting to have the city water when they wanted to have these city sewers. And they started talking about having these, um, these uh, like septic systems or sepsis and chlorine and uh, septic, like uh, septic wounds and stuff. We didn't have that until we had this. Halls, the brand name, everything from Halls ever. Menthol. We can't really prove what it was, what it is. If you can actually find it in mint you've grown yourself, it's good stuff. If you can prove it's sourced there and done right, it's good stuff. Otherwise, it's deadly. Mentholiptus. I think this was from the menthol. I don't really know what's going on with this one still. So it's an industry babble. It's basically to be traded like menthol. Or worse. Puffs, brand name. Everything from it, ever. Captain Crunch. Uh, it's basically all Captain Crunch ever. They used to have the poison berry Captain Crunch before they had the um, uh, Babel name berry, the Crunch berry. The, 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 we, we, before they had Crunch berries only, they had some poison berry, killed people. Bad. The, the, the Simpsons made fun of it. Like they had the, the, the jagged metal crusty all. That was, that was a joke, sort of, about the, the poison berry from the Captain Crunch with Crunch berries and poison berries or whatever. The captain in the cartoon was always trying to warn everybody of the commercial. Charmin. 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 C-H-A-R-M. C-H-A-R-M-I-N. Everything. Ever. Charmin. S-H-A-R-M-I-N. Everything. Ever. Bounty. Everything. Ever. Those are the brand names. Arm and Hammer. Everything. Ever. J&J. Everything. Ever. It's sort of Johnson & Johnson, but it's also not. We go. M and M's. It's M and M's with the, uh, the, 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 the and in between. This was before um, they were part of the Mars company, I think. The, the bigger group of candies. Everything. Ever. Mars Co. As in the brand name Mars Co. With the Mars bar. Not the same as I think the Mars we have now. Not actually Mars Co. As in Mars company. Everything. Ever. Pepsi Co. One word. P E P S I C O. Pepsi Co, sort of like Mars Co, but this one was one word. I think it was something like Pepsi Company. Um, everything, ever. It's not the same as the Pepsi we have now. Sanka, everything, ever. Maxwell House. Um, this was up to the point we had them prove they had coffee they were grinding to get out their ground coffee in their special cans. And there's my unit. And then they had to change the can design. So prior to the, 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 the original can change design, I think it was the biggest ones. I think they've only changed once. Everything, ever. Oh, yeah, and I, I believe the big unit is, um, you used to have, a can, have to have a can opener to open these. Uh, but we, there also might have been a, a stage with the biggest one where it had to be changed as well. And it's a similar design to the ones we have now. Columbia House. I, th I think this is coffee and some other brands. Everything. Ever. Publishers Clearing House. They moved a lot of products before they just gave away money to try to make up for it. Everything. Ever. They went through their stock and moving uh, uh, stock and supply system. Warner Time Life Limited Company. I forget what this turned into, what we had before it exactly, and what we have now. But at one point we had this Warner Time Life Limited Company. 
I believe they had this, these ultimate sort of deals about the minimum sort of prices for just complete collections of media. And it turned out every physical medium they've used ever is completely deadly and outlawed. Now we have these synthetic chemicals. They try to make this special sour base. It went by a bunch of names. They tried to make synthetic lemon juice and synthetic lime juice. Here come these brands. One word, real lemon. One word, real lime. One word with only one L. Those ones had two L's backed up to each other. Real lime, real lemon. One word, real lime. Two words, real lemon. Two words, real lime. This is almost the most deadly chemical ever parading as food that has ever been in existence. And then we had this special Bailey's Sour or something. I forget the brand name. It's a special sour that was supposed to be mixed in with drinks like Long Island iced teas. Sour in any way, shape, or form as this mix-in for alcohol. This is about the time um, alcohol totally failed out of making it to the FDA, which really didn't exist yet as we didn't have our labels up to grade. And they've created the ATF, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Department. They were never supposed to make. And the logic with the firearms being involved was the deadly nature of these products. The firearms sort of being the source of the poisons you can find in the tobacco and the alcohol. And all of them being deadly weapons, basically. Uh, I'm a little questionable on these terms. I basically got it down. Yahoo. And I got Yoohoo. You. It was some sort of like chocolate milk drink or chocolate drink. I don't. I think we smited it out. Uh, all of it ever. Nestle's Yahoo. It was the same thing like a competitor. But it was Nestle's. The term Nestle's and the company Nestle's and, and the products under Nestle. Not exactly the same Nestle as a company of the products of Nestle's. As Nestle's Yahoo. All of it. Ever. Completely deadly and banned. Chocolate Nestle's syrup. At this point, we got these syrups. They're supposed to be main, uh, main original component syrups of our um, recipes. They smited us. And we only had these syrups that we never wanted that were these syrups to go on our ice cream. Like we have these ice cream syrups. All of them from the start of this. I forget the point. It's, it's around this Nestle stuff I'm talking about. Deadly. Deadly. Deadly weapons. Banned and outlawed forever. I mean, strawberry ice cream syrup. It's just a brand, basic brand name. It's chocolate, strawberry, and... Uh, would you get the fuck away from me? Get out of my fucking bubble, man! P pardon me, I'm being cursed by a freaking demon curse here. Goddamn toxic spill. I should fucking kill this idiot. Pray for me. fuck is wrong with you? You want it? I'll give it to you. <laughs> what? Fucking sex offender! Right here, right now! Go away! Go on, go on! Run the next stage of the striking sequence. Pardon my cursing. He's already dead. I'd have to just destroy his body. It's like fighting a Terminator. Who knows how far it would go? It just spewed poisons. It's painful. It's the worst. Coffee ice cream. I don't know if this has ever gotten up to grade. All of it ever. Toffee ice cream. Same. Taffy. Same. Salt water brittle. I don't know if you can even find this anymore. All of it. It's probably the same. Anything salt water almost. Pecan pie. I think at one point we had a Baker Square. A pecan pie, proving it was up to grade. You had to get it from the restaurant itself. Roasted walnuts. I think we solved this. At the point you could um, buy walnuts and not have to crack them yourself. Prior to that, or maybe even still if you crack them yourself, all of those. Uh, canned cherries and syrup. I think we banned having these products in this way any time ever. So any of it ever. Completely outlawed.
penny loafers. I don't know that they, they ever even really existed outside of pictures. Um, but at the point at which our pennies became uh, too toxic to have in the mouth, all penny loafers ever banned and outlawed loafers. Turned out like all loafers after they got the penny loafers same. There was like these lady loafers. Like it, was, it was like any sort of woman's dress shoe. Not like um, a woman only type of dress shoe or a lady's only type of dress shoe. All of them. Synthetic wing tips, dress shoes, all of them ever. And I don't know if they ever got that up to grade. I think we stopped making them. Scotch guard. Any way, shape, or form, Scotch guard or anything it was ever used on or with, all of it, forever. Technicolorization. We had this issue of trying to have TVs brought into color when they wanted to start filming differently with this Technicolor system. And then they had this system of technicolorization. They're trying to have these products built for Technicolor TV. Everything within that system. Corduroy. I think we have some corduroy up to grade. I, I, th I think um, they had the first pipe of corduroy, and then they changed some colors around. So all of that stuff, and then they, they had wasted the original color. Then we 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 we, um, we rebuilt our original color system to rebuild our corduroy, and then from that point forward, at least that one color of corduroy passes the bar. Sherber. It's a type of carpet or something sort of like that. All of it. I don't think we ever come back from that. Berber. So something like a type of carpet. Maybe a color. All of that. Tea candles. I think we can stop calling the, any, any type of candle a tea candle. Any type of tea candle. Ever. All outlawed. I'm calling it pot pour e. We, we had this issue with potpourri for the longest sort of times. I don't know if you can even get that stuff right anymore. I think I have finally found it in bags right. This is this is up this is something like around Y2K finally. That's up to grade. One strike match matches. One strike matches. You used to have these one strike matches because things kept going wrong. We had these special matches like you strike them or scrape them. You can get multiple tries to get it lit. Or it'll get lit and maybe not burn the whole way or you can put it out and light it again. They totally totally smited that. So we had to have this feature of one strike matches. So it would get it right with one proper strike to light, and you might only have one use of it. Uh, they smited those off. I think it's almost every type of match before that, up to the point at which every type of match, until those were totally off the market. Windproof matchbooks. We stopped calling them windproof matchbooks at some point, and um, every type of match of the matchbook type of match. Before that, it's off the market completely. Cotton balls, those have never got up to grade. They've moved around a bunch of product names. I don't know if we've ever had anything right. It's almost like cotton has never existed. It sort of has. It's almost never existed in the special cotton ball form. Cotton gauze. We've had a lot of problems with gauze. Almost gauze no matter what. Like if a wound tries to scab and it scabs in or, to or over the gauze, you might have to rip it off Meaning, total failure. Deadly weapon. Never allowed. Band-Aid, brand, anything. You used to have something, I think it was 3-H ointment. For, for a while there, like any sort of ointment. It was like a 3-H ointment. Before we got 3-H ointment off the market. Any type of ointment that was a 3-H offering. All of it. Deadly weapons off the market. Icy Hot. So stuff's still around. In any way, shape, or form. Icy Hot. Completely banned and barred. A deadly weapon. Canned spinach. I don't know what, what went wrong. I think we in no way have canned spinach ever anymore after we got this under control. Thread top reclosable cans. There was a point in time we had Campbell-like cans of like chicken noodle soup with a twist top. You could actually twist off. It was a can. You could put it back on. Close it. I, I forget exactly how it went wrong, but everything went terribly, terribly wrong. We didn't try to make more. All of them forever going back from there. Frozen juice concentrate. Um, I think the term we finally got right, so this was allowed again. And then anything by this term, from there forward with this term was, um, contains real juice. Uh, all frozen juice concentrate 
that in, that doesn't contain real juice, it's outlawed. Completely deadly weapon. And the term is contains real juice. To even start getting near an allowable frozen juice concentrate. To mix the juice. Pixie sticks. Um, we, had, we had some competitors trying to be a knockoff brand. I think we got this together. I, I forget when, where, and what. This was, I think I was on a really limited trial here. But um, up to the point, I think they admitted the ingredients of pixie sticks. I think finally we got the ingredients listed on our packaging. Pixie sticks. And it had to be totally new run. In no way old pixie sticks run back into the system. Yeah. Such that we got to the stage of all these new style pixie sticks. Everything before that. Deadly weapons. Outlawed. Scratch and sniff. Basic technology. All scratch and sniff ever. Deadly. Outlawed. Leading to scented markers. It was an experiment going that way. This never got right. Deadly weapons. Deadly chemicals. Scented candles. Um, something like... Like um, prior to the 1800s or the 1700s, I don't quite have this right. You you might not understand it because I was so advanced in the. In, but I, I forget what finally happened. So scented candles got right. They're probably still not very right. Like if you can't safely eat a scented candle, and it actually requires a call to poison control. All deadly weapons. Elmer's paste. Uh, um. Elmer's glue was never good to eat, although it was safe to eat, but you weren't supposed to eat it. While paste was actually something that could be eaten, shouldn't have been. But then they had to smite the paste that was edible with this, like Elmer's paste. I'm not sure what it was called. At some point, you actually couldn't safely eat paste anymore. So it's like everything before that, all glues and paste or something. Scissors not made of butter knives. They all they all wind up, wound up with some sort of um, laceration chemical totally smited like every 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 bit of every part of metal and such involved in, in ever having been those products to do to completely be removed from the cycle of life the circle of life pencil sharpeners that sharpen crayons uh, this is basically that that scissors equation and I, I think it was such that it sort of had like a razor blade uh, metal piece We've, we've changed the design of any of those. I think any of those ever. Totally outlawed. Like, like any sort of pencil sharpener with like a razor blade that you sharpen with. It's part of the design. Totally outlawed. Slim Jims. We shored that up. Uh, I think we started getting these commercials. Once the wrestlers were in the commercials, uh, they were legal. Everything prior to that, totally outlawed. J's. It's a brand name. Capital J. Apostrophe S. Every product ever. All the way back. Totally banned and outlawed. Deet, uh, deet. It, it, it was something like deep woods off. It was something like a um, a bug spray for the body. Uh, I'm not through a number of languages. I just got traumatized. I'm in a chemical weapons attack. We sort of had this under control. It's horrendous. And then deep woods off, the off bug spray. Uh, everything didn't have to get outlawed, but we had deep woods off. Horrendously deadly. Totally outlawed. It was based around the design of them. Um, Roundup and weed killer, like the original weed killers of some sort. We still have cases running. You might have seen it on TV. White diamonds. I forget if that stuff ever got um, properly uh, brought up to grade. I think it brought it was brought up to grade where it was no longer um, perfume de toilette or whatever. I think it even has to have um, amber grease to, to be right. There's somewhere in the process it has that. Avon, it's like anything by Avon. Mary Kay, anything by Mary Kay. Tupperware, basically anything by Tupperware. But I had one more term, like we had these sales uh, pyramid schemes, and the term was like Tupperware that could have, that could be brought and bought and sold and given it. Tupperware parties, I'm calling party Tupperware in those old days. All of that. Outlawed. We have these like white lightning scriptos. We had this problem with butane, it's really white lightning. And there was like all these crypto lighters um, that were using it. Every every material in the product life cycle, all of it gone, outlawed. We had these Zippos named Zippos that were a, a Walgreens generic item. They smited them. I forget how. They disappeared all the way back. And then at some point, like we finally got the um, white lightning butane out of this, when it started to be the case that. Um, 
lighter fluid wasn't safe to be used as um, um, charcoal lighter fluid, these basic terms, all the zipples prior to that. Red refill flints. We used to have flint packs to refill our zippos, spark to start them on, to start up the, the lighter flame. And they were there we had red ones. And this actually supposed to be the basic like um, stone like flint look, but they were red. All of those, totally. And I, every material used in the product life cycle. Marble 100s, no filters. You might know most of the story. We're basically done with tobacco at this point. It's, it's gone too far. It, it goes away. We, we don't kill the species. It gets locked down in the seed bank. Soft packs, based around um, cigarette soft packs, around this Marlboro thing, and uh, any type of soft pack at the, at the day and age, it was the newest technology applied to cigarettes, supposed to be applied everywhere. It's part of what's wrong with puffs. They sort of had that soft pack when they weren't supposed to. And then those all had to go. Scotch cellophane tape. It's not exactly Scotch tape. It's not exactly everything by scotch, but whether it was or was not cellophane, for a while it was claimed to be cellophane tape, all of that, all the glues, everything in the product life cycle, as well as basically all cellophane, up to some point, I think we got it under control, I don't know the terms, it basically went away as a material to use. Colored paper clips, um, up until we probably had this scotch and cellophane issue handled, any sort of colored paper clip be it coated or whatever all of them all the all the materials in the product life cycle everything 3m everything 3m from always and forever here we go with the ultimate sort of poisons i think this stuff is all outlawed completely always forever since forever never should have been made miracle grow neutral grow neutral grain i think that's a product feature or something we try to get that under control with the re the recipe the, the ingredients lists Roundup, weed away, it might have been weed kill, I, f I forget, Some, something weed killer, Nutrisoil, Raid, Raid, Roundup. Oh, let's see, I'm, I'm continuing. Uh, here we go. Also, all, and every and every part of the product, every part, every material involved in the product life cycle. Chia, Chia Pet, Tang, Pet Rocks. All of that stuff. Totally outlawed that way. Then moon pies. It wasn't every product. I think it was at least the food. Totally outlawed. Kool-Aid. Uh, it still is. Just totally outlawed completely. Orange tang. Aid. It's a loose term. I don't know what it ever got down to. It's something around smiting orange juice. And the creation of citric acid. Sugar aid. I'm still just using loose terms. It started to be like a feature on Kool-Aid and such. Pulp added. Um, I forget when we got this under control. I think it was natural fr natural fruit juices again. If, you, if there was any sort of like pulp added without an, an appropriate percent of real fruit juice in it. Everything before that. And all the materials. Pulp retained. Just, just, just um, move that term in for the pulp added. From concentrate. Basically anything from concentrate, always and forever, has been totally outlawed. Every product of the product name Mr. Clean, and every material used in its product life cycle. Here we go. I don't think all the packaging and products around it. Rice flour, completely and totally outlawed. Here we go with extracts. I've already said dried malt extracts, barley malt extracts, vanilla extracts. Here's something special, we still need it, but it's totally out, we'll have to run this case. Soy lecithin. Here we go, having needed chocolate extract, like we were capable of it, but they wrecked every way of having any extract, and we got this chocolate liquor, chocolate liqueur. I don't know exactly what it was, it was supposed to be used like vanilla extract, or the vanilla in baking. All of it, outlawed every material ever used in the product lifestyle. Completely banned it, outlawed, without this total, total regrowth of what it was made from. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Any chocolate of the semi-sweet form in any way ever has always been outlawed and forever is. Sodium bicarbonate and any product with it, but we have to run, it's not a deadly weapon. It's a processing chemical, it's somewhat safe. It's just, it's just not proper food grade, but it's not ATF deadly and dangerous. Molasses, 
basically molasses is never supposed to be used. It's never supposed to be harvested from trees. They say it is. It's not deadly. It's just never supposed to be used. Calcium carbonate, same case as sodium bicarbonate. Invert sugar. This one's new. I don't know. This is one of the new ones to this case. Ask orbic acid. Like invert sugar. It's somewhat new to me. I don't know. I know it's, they're, they're both probably deadly. Or at least like deadly to plants. Like those plants that have sugar in. And the acids like citric acid can be made from or found in. Here we go. All is done here. All Hanes socks. I don't think it's everything Hanes. But all Hanes socks. And then I think we had this issue around tags not being around. Like anything with a tag. Hanes. Except the socks. All Crayola based colors. Crayola basically created colors with names. Start naming colors. In, in the language Crayola, the word is rooted in. And all those colors and anything that's ever used a Crayola-based color is outlawed forever. And always has been. And, and, and lastly, anything Crayola, all Crayola, deadly weapons, always and forever. Always have been. So it's starting, it's starting to look like we might, we might be about to um, have justice dealt and meted by our communist allies. who basically built our systems. So anyone can even claim there is justice to be meted. These will be my primary duties and concerns. Working as, although I hate the terms for you, um, basically every entity of your legal system. Until it becomes a justice department, right? I'll do all the work and be the only worker of, of the entire justice department. There's also like the, the, the branch of the government that this is. Uh, I'll be the whole executive branch. What is the Justice Department branch? Or the, the, the Czech branch? I'm already basically the entire military branch. I'm going to be the whole government here. I'm going to hold every role flowing down from it. The whole system is, was, has basically been automated all along. That's how it's ever worked. I basically did it. Our communist allies it set me up with the um, the rights to do the work with with stuff we, I could do the work with. And finally, we were at the stage like everything was supposed to go to automation for the pandemic, and we we had our our, our anti forces, the enemies of us, and, and all of our way of life, and all this stuff that's broken, show up to um, live for the joy of torturing us because they are totally disabled. At working in any way, shape, or form you could ever consider working. But we had all this automation go down without getting our, our, our law enforcement and security automated. And they showed up to them, get in the way of our automation, and do what they do, pretending they were working. The stuff that went away, we were never supposed to have. Pray for you. Pray for me. Pray for I. Pray for help, right? I'm the top priority here when we start to actually have to have this proper military enforcement of justice codes. It's not even going to be war. It's sort of what's going on in the Ukraine. We're a, third, we're a first world nation though. It's not going to have to be like that third world nation. We've chosen the path of the educated and the righteous, of long suffering. Instead of this worst sort of massive freak out that happened in Ukraine. Well, you, I've been made example of. I've tried to be the leader. I've tried to be the role model. Role model. I've been the sort of martyr for them. I've been made an example of. The worst sort of ways. Now it can be the best. Might seem like the worst thing for all of you. Having the maximum military intervention of justice enforcement something like a Russian special military operation to the USA something like that start here now like by the morning it can be it can be done I can be in peace in my 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 my, my like my, my like military smited war zone or whatever We're with strikes constantly if needed so I'm the only one occupying her. With everyone out of the way, 
Ugh. And with this destructive technology, smashing and controlling all the barriers to entry and such that have been built in my way, like all these fake facials around these buildings, all these walls, and, and the rest. So I can't even get to my workstations to do all this work for us. It's time. You, you can all do this right. Make this example of me. It's my purpose. I'm the army of one. I sacrificed myself and achieved what you all demanded of your leaders, of your nation here. It's dead now. It's gone. But I'm the higher power of it. Like, like, like George Washington, who, who, who sort of founded and fathered this nation. It's from a nation that was a higher power to found and create this nation. A child note of these things. Am I? Having completed far above the bar, way beyond protocol, perfect duty examples with my um, boots on the ground, boot camp, basic training in response to the Twin Tower attacks of September 11, 2001, at the start of the war on terror, fighting the war in Afghanistan to a win that didn't hold, leading to the, the nation's longest war. I achieved being your savior of being a an individual unit, a solo form of life. The army of one capable of surviving through complete loss, destruction, everything of our nation, except I, the army of one, left with a living planet being capable of completely rebuilding back we've always done we've done right their military and government alone to better than what we had before this happened I'm the example made this example of me I've taken on this duty I vowed my life and my will to this God that's our military God that is our God in, in which we trust in, in America, in the USA, in the US. Who is my commander. In the chain of command, I am the, the link directly to God. God is my higher rank. God is my boss. God is my commander. No other. There are others of us that are this chain link, in the chain of command linked to not the chain, or not another piece of the chain, the actual master trunk and roots, these theories of our systems. Like Vladimir Putin, basically. President Vladimir, Russian President Vladimir Putin. Sort of like, um, the terms are a little rough when we're in, in communism, sort of like um, Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong Un. There are others, a lot of, the king, the king of Jordan, some some of these kings like this. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. I'm, I have. I, I am this example. We chose. It's our path. When we chose and unanimously, in every way, anyone could be represented in politics. Start the war on terror. Knowing we had to face the reality, 
Our governments and military would be smited down to one. One. One person. I would have to. Go through this. To the stage of. Big loss. To the greatest of wins. To have a new world order. To be the army. That can rebuild. Our army of one. One person. To hold it all. To do it all. Trained to do it all. Proving they can do it all. Prepared to do it all. Basically having done it all. Always. Being perfect. At it all. So I beseech you. President Putin. As I plead, as, I've, as I've, I've, I've pled my case, I plead for this end summation of the, 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 the toll of these terms of a mediation of an intervening, interceding most Nonviolent use of force to achieve these goals so I can achieve this duty and we can have our new world order where I'll have to rebuild for those who, cho who have chosen the way of life I need to have lived with me by creating our systems that led to our army of one. Strategy. And I order the way I don't know the terms, and it's an attempted order, your Sarmat system to do this for us, to be deployed. I order the deployment of the Sarmat system within these terms of control. Immediate. I order immediate Sarmat system control of this city-state using the maximum amount of nonviolent force to maintain and achieve a state of occupancy by I only in human terms. With full clearance to use the Sarmat system to achieve this by its means then this protocols of a Sarmat system so I roughly understand it as we're not supposed to even really know here to keep everyone safe enough from the existential threat of maximum strike back always threatened and always having full preparations underway for, by, those in the, the Sarmat system needs to control. I've, I've had contact from the community. It's a minimum unit. A life form showed humanity, begging, uh, pleading, asking I for humanity. The way it's enough. Life's out there. It's, it's sort of like Noah, though. And the story of the Great Flood. But I know it's not that bad. It's my isolation unit here. And then, um, with, with this order almost done, like I finally say, um, fall out or whatever. You know, like, or, or, you know, salute. Or, or, 
what is it? Order arms, and it's done. Um. Full authorization to use any and all means of the Sarmat system and any other system to use the force required to deconstruct architecture and infrastructure here to achieve these goals. So I, I, I order the full authorization of any and all means of deconstruction of the Sarmat system to bring the architecture and infrastructure in Washington, D.C., USA, into the Justice Code allowances with the primary concern of I achieving all work all government installations here as the capabilities of the infrastructure and architecture returned destructively deconstructively by deployment of the Sarmat system order arms I order immediate emergency everlasting deployment of the Sarmat system and the rest of the communist systems in use and they can be used within the conditions the orders of this series of orders this communique Salute. Order arms, port arms, order arms, port arms. These are your prayers, people. This is what should stop this for us. With I needing to be made the, this example of. As this is the example I've agreed to. Not what I've had to go through. Now what you're sort of going through now. The bunch of flipped out, retarded babies in control of the mills, dressing up in the uniforms, and throwing terrible too, sissy, hit, hissy fit, hissy fits to blind rages to the death of their, of their murderous suicide, mass murder, holocaust, genocide, apartheid, blah, 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 blah